What's going on gamers? Before we get into the tutorial part of this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the official Apex YouTube channel. Today we're going to be installing SpongeForge plugins onto our Apex servers. Having mods or plugins is an excellent way to bring excitement to your Minecraft gameplay. While mods and plugins are both great, by default, they're not compatible with each other. If you want mods on your server, you're not going to be able to use plugins. And if you want plugins, you may not be able to use mods. There may be some features you want your server to have that you can't find any mods for, or maybe you want to add some features that don't require installation client side. With SpongeForge, you're going to be able to have both mods and plugins. However, there are some restrictions with this. Adding Sponge plugins isn't too difficult, and we're going to walk you through each of the steps on how to add them onto your server. First things first, you're going to want to head to the official SpongeForge plugin page. Here you can search for your desired plugins. Once you find one you're interested in, let's say we want Sky Claims on our server, we can go ahead and click on it and head to that page, and we need to make sure to read the page for any dependencies. Scrolling down, we can see this huge header right here, and it says we need Sponge, of course, and we need Grief Prevention and Lock Perms. Not having the dependency plugins is going to cause your server to crash entirely upon startup. So you need to make sure that you put them onto your server. You also want to make sure that you're downloading the correct version. You can see the plugin version by heading onto the versions tab on the page. You should see it say sponge with a version number to the right of it. If it has the number 7 next to this S, it means it's made for 1.12.2. If it has the number 5 next to it, it means that it's made for 1.10.2, and the number 6 is 1.11.2. So, for example, this S7 would be Sponge 7, and then it would be for the Minecraft version 1.12.2. Once you've confirmed that you have the right version selected, go ahead and hit the download icon to the right of the version. Now that we've gotten all of our plugins, you can go ahead and head to the main Multicraft panel. From here, you'll want to stop your server as we do this before changing any server files. Once your servers come to a full stop, you can go ahead and jump into the FTP file access tab on the left. From here, you're going to want to go ahead and log in. Once you're at the main file list, you can go ahead and jump into the mods folder. And as you can see here, we have our version of SpongeForge, which means we've already installed SpongeForge. So from here, go ahead and head to the Upload tab. And all you need to do is grab your plugins and drop them onto the part of the page where it says Drop Files here to upload. And then drop in all of your dependencies. You'll know that your plugins have been installed when you see the uploaded 3 out of 3 and 100% on each of your plugins. Once this is done, you can go ahead and jump into the main Multicraft panel by clicking on the name of your server at the top. From here, you can go ahead and restart your server, but it's always recommended to create a new world. A quick way to do this is by scrolling down to the world part of the page and leaving it empty and then go ahead and save. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and restart your server. And once your server is fully started up, the plugins should be fully loaded. One common issue that may occur is your server crashing on startup after your plugins are added. If the server is crashing on startup after you add the plugins, it's likely due to either a missing dependency, wrong version, or a corrupted jar. Check all the plugins you added and confirm that they are the correct version and they don't have any missing dependencies. So, for example, let's go ahead and stop our server since it refuses to start up because I obviously did something wrong. And once it comes to a full stop, we can go ahead and jump into FTP file access and confirm what we think the problem is. From here, let's go to the mods folder. We've only installed sky claims, which means we're missing two dependencies. Of course, the server is not going to start up when it's missing its dependencies. Go ahead and jump into upload and upload your two dependency plugins. And of course, if all else fails, you've confirmed all of this and your server still doesn't start, you're gonna need to remove the plugins and add them in one by one to narrow down exactly which one is causing the issue. This is time consuming, but effective too. Well folks, I wanna thank you for watching this video and I wanna ask you to like it and subscribe to the Apex YouTube channel. I also wanna thank you for using an Apex server. 
And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.